Really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, probably for these topic areas, Scully would not be. Uh, huh? Just now we're going to take the two shot now. Could I just give you this, uh, Lee, to stick on the table? Thanks. That was really excellent. The problem is we we went over we went over the stuff in my cubicle and it's really difficult to do it. I, I shouldn't have. I should, let, let's just take now. This is just an establishing shot uh -huh. where we say who you are and uh -huh. all this and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, on August 11, 1950, I was born, and uh, you know, mm -hmm. if you were in San Jose General Hospital, you would have seen me at a very early age. And, mm -hmm. um, I would have been two at the time, but. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't have been able to look above the. Uh, Everyone in California, I don't know. Are you from New York? From Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Okay. Same so everybody thing. out here on the West Coast is always under the assumption that anything on the East Coast you can't get around. It's very so horrible. New York is the worst place to be. The traffic doesn't move. I'll be darned. I was out in New York recently, and it seemed to move better than anything in San Jose. Mm. I was very uh, shocked. I of course, you were flying in a helicopter at the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. All right. Just talk to me, a little, be a little more serious, because just we want to maybe cut this with a. Um, okay. What What is the next big project for Apple? Has the three come out on the market yet, or is that right. waiting? No, to we have this incredible 54 bit microprocessor, and nobody's going to believe it when it hits because it's compatible with the current existing ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the product, the product line, the tape isn't on, right? No, well, not for purposes of use. Don't worry about it. We're not. We would never use. That's okay. This. I'm making it up anyway. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Let no, me just. The case. The yeah. case, though. The case design. It's um, basically um, a magenta case, mm -hmm. and the keyboard is expanded, because mm -hmm. we thought that 88 keys was too restrictive. Mm -hmm. So we've gone more towards 110. So you'll be able to play Chopin on the thing before you, before you know it. We thought about that, but uh, we only have four bits in the. Uh, the sound circuitry. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, so well, let me ask you something. Why don't uh, personal computers have more of what it would take to make arcade quality games? I mean, they're getting closer mm -hmm. and closer, but you still don't see that kind of brightness that you see in Zaxxon in an arcade. Why don't the personal computers have that kind of punch? Right now, it's, uh, yeah, it's not built in standard, although if you look at the resolutions of the IBM PC in color, or there are a number of boards, including arcade boards, that are very cheap that you can buy for the Apple computer that put out that kind of signal, allow you to put out that quality of graphics. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Every possible, all these different codes, ways to, from your own phone, he can dial up on his own phone and touch things on a blue box, and he could pop up on someone else's line, tapping it, listening in. Totally automatic. Incredible. And I sat with him once, and... Uh, I called the FBI and I sat in. I tapped the FBI and I heard them talking about cases in progress on their telephone and everything. And Incredible. It was for real. It was real. Pretty amazing. He wrote his word processor. Sorry, just keep talking. That's right. He wrote his word processor in, in prison, right? Right. I um, basically he had an Apple computer because he had worked for Apple. He had designed a phone board for us, and we were scared he'd get in some trouble with it. Mm -hmm. And eventually he did on his own. But uh, he he used it incredibly to crack a lot of codes. Well, he went. He he eventually wound up in prison. And he called me up one day and he said his printer had broken. He was just ready to commit suicide. I mean, he, this guy was really depressed. And I felt so sorry for him. And I knew I was going to buy an expensive printer for myself anyway. So I went out and bought him a printer. This was in the early days when it was like a printer, a good printer meant $3,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, he sat down in prison. Did, did him at, not really ex-con. It's this type of crime that's so prank-oriented that he should right. never have gone to prison for it. Yeah. Um, he's, he's a computer programmer. He's writing programs. He doesn't like to pay his phone bill. Um, he doesn't like Ma Bell a bit. Does he still do that? Let me no. let me ask a re-ask. Okay, no. this is a two-shot clock. Okay. Uh, have you have you been? Because I I like two-shot, just listening shots. Have you have you done that? Or given that we have one camera and okay, um, so you say that today. Okay. So in a sense, today's computer pirate is tomorrow's computer developer. Yeah. No question. No question. Um, I just look at myself, and I just know all these little electronic pranks that I was able to do That's my good. whole life. Yeah, go ahead. You can keep you know, that. We're all done. Run, you know. So, like, we do one where you tilt up and go along another one where you start down there and do a pullback, you know? And then we'll do a side shot.